Hi, my name is John Gausner, Director of Engineering for the Security Management Engineering Group. In this video, I'll be demonstrating a prototype capability called Event Dashboard. This capability is built upon a big data infrastructure, which I won't go into detail here, but it's uh, built upon a Cloudera Data Hub um, with Elasticsearch, allowing for uh, massive ingest and processing of data uh, from your security devices and applications and operating systems in your enterprise. To get to the event dashboard, you go to the dashboards tab uh, and open up the alert category. This is under alert because it's a prototype and we're, we're building upon the same capability we introduced with Sentinel 7.3 in alerts. Uh, we're building upon that, but allowing dashboarding view of the events. So by clicking on this, you open up the event dashboard. So now that the dashboard has opened, the next part of the demo, I am going to be acting as a security operator interested in uh, investigating any suspicious or potential malicious activity. And I'll be using this dashboard to help me quickly find some important activity to investigate. So first looking at this dashboard, I get a good overview of the activity in my organization. I could see traffic um, is coming from various countries around the world. Um, also, it is going to a few different countries around the world, and I have this cyclical um, spikes of activity probably um, corresponding to the daily activity of my workforce. Uh, but this doesn't really tell me, you know, if anything is bad happening. Uh, so as I scroll down, I'll go to this other section that gives me information about events that are happening on low reputation hosts. So the data that we're showing here is not only the log data from your applications and operating systems and firewalls and so on. But also uh, additional context has been added to that log data to add host reputation information, which gives you kind of a FICO score, if you will, of the, of the host um, um, based on other activities that a partner of ours called uh, WebRoot BrightCloud has provided us as a threat intelligence feed. We've combined that host reputation information with the log data to uh, be able to highlight communication that is happening with hosts have a low uh, reputation. This is also combined with geolocation information uh, to tell uh, you where the uh, activity is occurring in the globe. And additionally, uh, you'll see a bit later how this is also uh, combined with identity information. So you not only know the usernames um, that are taking part in this activity, but really who the person is that those usernames are associated with. So looking at this timeline of activity on low reputation hosts, I can see that there is a kind of a background, if you will, of attackers probing our network, trying to find a way in. Uh, but there is this spike of activity here, and I'm interested as an opera security operator, I'm interested in understanding you know, what occurred during the spike and if it was anything malicious. So I'll click and drag over the spike to zoom in on that time range. When I do... I could see that most of that activity is going towards a single host. And uh, so what I'll do is I'll click on that host to uh, see you know, more information about that activity. And when I click on this, I can see that this host is uh, in China. This is the country code for China. Something in my internal network is communicating with something in China. Uh, that could be a sign of, uh, say for example, data exfiltration or something along those lines. So what I want to do next is I want to see, well, you know, this is showing me what's going out to that machine. Was there any activity coming from that machine? Maybe an attack launched from that machine um, in China with then afterwards, you know, data getting exfiltrated to it. So what I'll do is I'll go up to the filter and I'll change the filter here from focusing on the target IP and actually look to see if this IP address in China uh, was the source of any activity in my organization. And as I scroll down, I could see that actually it was, and it was communicating with uh, machines in the U.S., and it communicated with several machines in the U.S., in fact, several of my machines in my internal network. And um, the uh, type of activity was a proxy. And the threat type of proxy, what that is, is an IP address that's providing proxy and anonymization 
services such as Tor anonymization services so that the, uh, the user using this proxy can use it as a anonymized jump off point for their, um, their other activities. So it's hard to detect who the original actor is in this, uh, in this attack. If I scroll down, I could see that this activity actually involves a couple identities in my organization. Um, two people, Bud Fox and Jack Miller. And I can look at the department uh, that these folks are in. If I click on Jack Miller, I now have a dashboard that's focusing on the Jack on Jack Miller's activity coming from this host in China directed towards my network. And I scroll down more, I can see the details of that activity. And it looks like really all that happened was that an authentication failed. And you know, maybe this maybe the, the attacker was trying to guess what Jack Miller's uh, password was and failed, so and then gave up and never succeeded. So that's you know not that interesting. And we could ignore that. So I'll remove um, the filter that's focusing in on Jack Miller. And now let me check out Bud Fox. And when I go, scroll down to see the details of that, I can see several failed logins. Each of these are computer attempted to validate, but failed. Um, there are several of these failed uh, attempts, but then a successful login from this uh, source IP in China. So what this is telling me is that this uh, some attacker from this uh, source IP tried multiple times to guess Bud Fox's password and eventually did succeed. And that's, you know, that's very alarming. And because they had succeeded, they then created some traffic going back to this source IP address, probably exfiltrating some data from my organization. And looking at the department that Bud Fox is in, in the hospital administration department, uh, Bud Fox likely has information to very sensitive information that I would not like for anyone else to have outside my organization. So this is an alarming activity. And uh, I will then go investigate more about what happened here. That concludes the short demonstration on the event dashboard prototype that is built upon the big data infrastructure that we are working on here at NetIQ. Thank you very much.